kilometer per hour, 1 kilometer per hour is equal to 5 by 18 meter per second. This conversion to also be important. These two factors mainly to remember is a very very important one. Okay, for conversion, these values are very important. So this speed is now scalar point. Why? Because it has no unit. Uh, sorry, it has no direction, it has no direction, only magnitude it has. That's why it is a scalar quantity. So the distance travelled by body in unit time is called as a speed. It is denoted by the letter V. Speed is given by the application, distance by time that is given by the formula V is equal to S by T. And its units are considered according to the application in CGS system centimeter per second and in MKS system meter per second. And also measured in kilometer per hour also. So its conversion of unit kilometer per meters and meters per kilometers. So one kilometer is equal to thousand meters and one hour is equal to 60 into 60 seconds or 3600 seconds. So one kilometer per hour is equal to thousand by 3600 meter per second. So it will get cancelled, two zeros cancel, two fives are two eighteen zero. Therefore, one kilometer per hour is equal to five by eighteen meter per second. Similarly, it's reverse. One meter per second will be taken as eighteen by five kilometer per hour. Okay, this is the conversion of one uh, unit to another. That is meter to kilometer or kilometer to meter. So you can make this value conversion definitely. You multiply the given number with these factors. Remember that. So afterwards uh, in problems I will explain. Just to remember these values. Next factor will be velocity. Velocity, speed and velocity. So commonly used words. Commonly we used speed, speed only. This velocity does not be used in common. In common words speed only most you have used. But velocity means it is the displacement by time. It is also denoted by the letter V, but it has a direction. It has a direction. In velocity direction will be there. In speed, there is no direction. Here, to indicate its direction. That is equal to displacement. Displacement also will be denoted by the letter S, but indication will be used. By time. So, this is the velocity. V is equal to same to V is equal to S by V. What is the difference? Here, directions will be indicated. But in that case, there is no direction. That is the main difference. Speed and velocity. So the bus travels with velocity. We can't say speed only because they will not indicate the direction. If you indicate the direction, it becomes velocity. Same units: meter per second in MKS system, centimeter per second in CGS system. So then also conversion will be same. All will be same. Just only direction will be considered. That's why it is a vector quantity. Understand? So both terms will be measured in the same manner, but there is some small difference there in physics. But in commonly most you will use the word speed only. But come to import of physics, that speed indicated in this direction, that we say velocity. So velocity is displacement by time here. Arrow marks indicate the vector quantity. That's why this velocity is a vector quantity. Okay. Then it says average speed. Average speed. A yes to write simply. A yes means average speed. Average speed is equal to total distance covered by a body by time. Total distance by total distance by time is taken as average speed. So average speed is equal to total distance for the body will travel the distance that will taken as by with the time. So total distance covered by the body by time is considered as the average speed. Similarly, average velocity in this to consider total displacement by time. Total displacement by time or distance. So for explaining this, so simple example I will give for this average speed and average velocity. Have to consider a car will travel A car travels from Hyderabad to Vishakhapatnam. It travels from Hyderabad to here. Hyderabad will be there to remember. Hyderabad and here. What is it? Or Vishakhapatnam. 
we shall try to consider, we shall try to consider. So here, this total distance covered by a vehicle, but covered by a car will be taken as 720 km distance it will be travelled by taking 12 hours time. In 12 hours, it will be travelled 720 km distance from Hyderabad to Vishakur. Then, same distance will be displacement. So that is the shortest distance will be travelled. So that is directly to consider here. So here this distance is only 360 kilometers, but the vehicle travels time taken will be 12 hours. So 12 hours time will be taken. 360 kilometer distance or shortest distance. This is the displacement. Remember, this is the shortest distance means is the displacement. Okay? And here total distance will be 720. According to that, to calculate the average speed, average speed is equal to Total distance by total distance by time taken that is equal to total distance 720 by 12. 12 ones are 12 six are 70 to 0. That is equal to 60 km per hour a vehicle will be travelled. Its average speed will be 60 km per hour. Per hour it travels 60 km, then it reaches 12 hours to Vishakhapatna. That is the total distance. Means Minimum uh, travels with 60 km speed. Now, average velocity, A means average velocity is equal to total displacement by total displacement by time taken. Total displacement by time taken at constant. Total displacement by time. So here total displacement is given as 3600 sorry 360 360 by 12 12 ones are 12 threes are 30 so average velocity is equal to 30 kilometers per hour 30 kilometers per hour see what you observe here here the vehicle goes very slow same time will be taken but with the distance will be less but the vehicle moves slowly only 30 kilometers per hour it travels and it reaches safely this place. So here also it reaches. But what the difference? Here speed will be more. Here per hour 60 crore be because distance is large. That's why speed also be increases. Understand? It travels 60 kilometers per hour. Okay. So this is the difference of speed and uh, sorry average speed and average velocity. Okay. Now here, I would consider one simple question. In this, I would consider as, what is the displacement of a body if it returns to the same point from where it started? So, I would explain with the daily exam. What happens here? What is the displacement of the body if, the, if it returns to the same point where it will be started? means it will be rotated in the rotatory system it will be there so in rotatory system to be considered the displacement becomes zero because at what point it will be started again it comes to that point so for example it started from the point a so it will be rotated and rotatory motion are constant so to be constant here it travels at this point this point is said to be A. At A point it will be start and goes. So it will be rotated like this. After some time, again it comes to reaches this point. Same point it will be reaches. Means there is no displacement takes place here. That means its the displacement of the body becomes zero. Because for example to observe an athlete who runs on a circular path and where uh, and reaches the starting point with the displacement zero. So a threat to observe he runs firstly he runs in this uh, manner. Again he reaches the same point. That's why his uh, displacement will be zero. Zero displacement it will be formed. Similarly, when do the distance and the magnitude of displacement becomes equal? Distance and displacement. When it will be equal, so to observe, a body moves in straight line, this both will be equal. So here A point and B point will be there. So here distance will be to say, distance to say it is 
10 meter distance it will be travel a body so the distance travel will be 10 meters the distance travel will be taken as here 10 meters and check and its uh, displacement to be taken as what happens with displacement a body moved a to b in a straight line so the displacement and distance of the body so it will be travel in the same direction a b is equal to 10 meters and also displacement is also displacement means a b indication it is also be 10 meters when this displacement becomes zero if the other person will be asked what do you say when it becomes uh, zero means if the body moves in the same direction and again comes back so displacement equal when it will be zero to absorb it moves from a to b 10 meters towards b again same point it will be returns that means it comes 10 meters back so a b is equal to minus b a because the directions are different so the directions will be in opposite opposite direction they will be that's why 10 is equal to minus 10 means 10 minus 10 what is the result becomes what have we said the directions are opposite when you add this to 10 minus 10 10 minus 10 means it becomes 0 so that means total distance will be 0 when the body moves in the same direction same direction and comes back its uh, displacement becomes 0 0 displacement we have to say then what is the average speed of the car if it covers 200 kilometers in 5 hours so a car travels 200 kilometers 200 kilometers in 5 hours a car travels a car travels 200 kilometers in 5 hours then what is the average speed of the car so average speed is equal to what average speed is equal to total distance by total distance by time taken so what is the total distance 200 kilometers by time taken is 5 hours so 5 hours are 5 hours are 20 0 so it is like 40 kilometers per hour so average speed is equal to 40 kilometers per hour so in this manner we have to calculate simple applications next class we have to continue ok thank you